Welcome to Maze Lico Challenge. Today's problem is delete operation for two strings. Given two strings word one and word two, return the minimum number of steps required to make word one and word two the same. In one step, you can delete exactly one character in either string. So if we have two words like see and eat, we would have to <clears throat> remove um, S from word one, and we would have to remove T from word two, and that would make him EA both of them and that would be two steps, two operations. Now, first glance, it kind of seems like this would be pretty easy. All we would need to do is count up the number of characters and their counts and just calculate the overlap and just subtract the number of characters that don't overlap. But the reason that doesn't work is say that we had two words, ABC and CBA. Um, if we were to do that method, you can see that we would count up 1A, 1B, 1C, and we would do the same here, 1C, 1B, 1A, and we would say, oh, well, we don't need to delete anything, they're the same. But they're not, right? Because we, if, if we were to make these the same, the order actually matters. It would actually have to be four. We'd have to like remove, say, th this, this one, this one, and this one, this one, and that would make it four operations, not zero. Uh, so what can we do here to, to um, count up the order as well as uh, yeah, we have to consider the order of, of our strings and, and, and yeah. So of course we could try something recursive. We could like find every single path and see, uh, what's the common sort of word that we can calculate and then subtract all the different characters, but that's just going to be too much, of, um, too expensive time complexity. What we'll do here is create a DP array and say, for example, uh, this example here with ABC and CBA. Um, what I'll do is create a 2D array and consider a blank here as well as a blank right here. Okay, so it's going to be a 4x4 four four matrix, n plus 1, n, and n plus 1 DP array. What we can do then is start with our base case. And what I mean by that is uh, we'll build up the number of characters that we need to remove. Like say that we want to make a into a blank string how many numbers we have how many characters we have to remove here it'd be one right we have to pop off the one what about a b if we want to make that into a blank string we'd have to pop off both of those same thing here a b c so we can kind of write a base case right here like in our 2d array we'll just say uh, just count them up because unless it's both blank which would be zero right here uh all the all these would be just the length right okay now we're going to go bottom bottom up and we're going to try to figure out how to calculate the number from, from each sort of um, substring here in order. So with like A and C, how many do we need to remove to make them equal to one another? Well, we know we have to remove at least one, right? Because they're not equal to one another. So we have to pop off at least one of these two. Um, so what we can do is kind of look back and take the minimum between A and C here. Take the minimum one from before and just add one. So between here, these are the same, so we'll just take either one, one, and this would be one plus one, so that'd be two. Now, same thing here. What we'll do is take the minimum between these two, which would both be two, and add one because they're not the same, A, B, C, so it's three. And it makes sense, right? Look at A, B, and C, how many do we need to remove to make them equal to one another? All of them, A, B, and C. Now, here though, at C, they're equal to one another. So we don't need to pop them off. This, this we can keep. So then which number do we take? Well, we just take the one uh, before the C, which would be uh, right here, this two, and we just take that over and this would be two. Just bring over minus one row, minus one column, and that would be the one we just bring over and that would be two. So that's really the two sort of cases that we need to consider. Now we'll just move forward. We'll say, all right, take, take the minimum, uh, minimum between these two, they're not equal. So this would be three uh, here. This, uh, this is equal, so we'll take the one uh, row and column before that's two and here let's see it's not equal to one another so we'll take that that's three um, so and you can see like ABC and CB how many we need to remove here well the only thing we can get is um, to get them to be equal C so we have to pop off a B and B here a B from the word one and B from word two and that would make it three operations so this is correct right so here, this would be two, this would be uh, BA, so this is three, 
And here with CA, we take minimum between these two and plus one, that's four. And at the very end, we're gonna re uh, return this, and it's four. We have to remove four of these, um, like we can remove different combinations. We can remove A, a and C, or we can remove A and B, uh, but either way, we have to remove, have four operations to remove that. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. This is a DP approach. What we'll do is first create a DP array. Let's first initialize our NNM, which would be the length of word one and word two. Next, let's create our DP array. And what we'll do is say for blank in range of, uh, let's start with N, N, and we need plus one here to consider that blank string there. I'll make it a 2D array. So for blank and range of M plus one. Now we first need to consider the top row and the first column. So top row, we'll say for, uh, let's say column and range of, let's see, column I said N, and this would be N plus one. We're going to say, all right, DP, the first row, um, make the column basically equal to column, right? It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way. And the same thing here, full range of n plus 1. This would be the row, first column, make it equal to row. All right, so now we have our DP array with the base condition all filled out. Now we just need to do a nested for loop and move through it here for r in range of uh, let's see, m plus 1, and for column in range of n plus 1. And one thing to consider, we don't need to consider that first one anymore, so we'll have a 1 here. Now, there's two conditions here, right? It could be that at this letter, they're the same. At this index number, and r and c, they're the same or they're not the same. So if um, word 1 r and we have to say minus one because uh, you know this is zero index and we added one here. If this is equal to word two, call minus one, then we recall that we just take the one previous row and previous column. So dp rc is just gonna equal to dp r minus one, c minus one. Now otherwise, they're not equal to one another, then we're gonna make dp rc equal to one plus the minimum between r minus one and c, and dp r c minus one. Finally, we can just return the very last cell in our dp array, and that would be it. So let's see if this works. That looks like it's working, so let's submit it. Hmm. Index, I might have flipped it here. C. Uh, yeah. Um, yep, there we go. So I, I flipped that by accident, my fault. Uh, but this is time complexity wise, n times m, and it also uses n times m space because of our DP array. So this is probably the optimal solution. Uh, you could write something recursively and do memoization to do something similar, but I think this is a lot more understandable to me. You can also go, uh, if you were to do it recursively, you'd have to go top, top to bottom. Mm, so uh, it's up to you. I, I think this is much more understandable. So, okay, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.